Hello, dear students. How are you? I'm glad to see you. Я очень рада вас видеть сегодня. Today we are going to talk about living and non-living things. So, are you ready? We'll have some new words. So please take your pens and copybooks and don't forget to write them down. Today we will learn new words, use have got, has got in sentences and get information about living and non-living things. So, my dear students, what do you know about living and non-living things? Yes, you are right. Living things are the things that are now or once were alive. They grow, they develop, use energy, respond to their environment and adapt. For example, people, animals or plants. Living things – это живые существа, которые могут расти, развиваться, употреблять пищу и энергию. Также они могут взаимодействовать с окружающей средой и приспосабливаться. Например, такие как люди, животные и растения. And non-living things are anything that was never alive. For example, stones, cars, computers, tables, etc. Non-living things – это неодушевленные существа. Например, камни, машины, компьютеры. Now, my dear students, please look at the screen. Here you can see some words. Now, please tell me, are they living or non-living things? Let's divide them into two groups, living things and non-living things. So, what do you think? Let's check together. Living things are dog, goldfish, snake, tortoise, flowers. And non-living things are skateboard, guitar, cap and helmet. Good job! Well done! Now, my dear students, please look at the pictures. What is there on the first picture? What has this boy got? Yes, you are right. This boy has got a bicycle. And what about you? Have you got a bicycle? If yes, you can say, I have got a bicycle. Okay, let's look at the next picture. Has this boy got a bicycle? No, he hasn't got a bicycle. If you haven't got a bicycle, you can say, I haven't got a bicycle. Good, let's continue. Now let's look at the pictures and answer the questions. Question number one. Has she got an umbrella? Yes, she has. Has she got a cat? No, she hasn't. Has she got a mobile phone? Yes, he has. Has he got a cap? No, he hasn't. You are right. Good job. Now, my dear students, let's do listening task. Listen carefully and complete the sentences. Hello, my name is Arma. I am 12 years old. I live in Almata. I have a big family. There are three of my brothers, parents and grandparents. I have a pet. It's a dog. And I have a got a big bicycle. I like cycling. I do it nearly every day. I'm interested in skateboarding, but I haven't got it yet. My father will buy a bicycle for me when my brother gives me his helmet. Now let's check your answers together. Arman has got a big family, a dog and a bicycle. But he hasn't got a skateboard and a helmet. Have you got correct answers? Well done! Great job! Dear students, we are going to read the text about a superhero. Yes, you are right. It is Iron Man. But before we start reading, let's learn new words. Please take your pens and write the words down. Engineer 
инженер. Metal suit – металлический костюм. Loyal secretary – верный секретарь. Protect – защищать. Enemy – враг. Now let's repeat. Engineer – engineer. Metal suit – metal suit. Loyal secretary – loyal secretary. Protect, protect, enemy, enemy. You are right. Well done. Now, my dear students, let's read the text and answer one question. Who is Tony Stark? We will find the answer in the text. Now, let's start reading. Follow my reading, please. Amazing Iron Man. Tony Stark is an engineer in his father's business, Stark Industries in the USA. Pepper Potts is his loyal secretary. Tony has got a special metal suit. When he has it on, he's Iron Man. Iron Man can fly. He's strong and he can protect the world from bad people. Iron Monger is very bad. He is his enemy. Can Iron Man stop him? Can Peppa help Iron Man? Watch this brilliant film to find out. So, my dear students, who is Tony Stark? Yes, you are right. Tony Stark is Iron Man. Here are some questions. Let's look at them. Question number one. What is Tony's job? Who is Pepper Potts? What has Tony got? And the last one, what can Iron Man do? Now, my dear students, we are going to read the text again and answer these questions. I'll give you some time. Now, let's check your answers. Question number one, what is Tony's job? So, what do you think? You are right. He is an engineer. Question number two. Who is Pepper Potts? Yes, you are right. She is his loyal secretary. Question number three. What has Tony got? You are right. He has got a metal suit. And the last question, what can Iron Man do? So, what do you think? Yes, you are right, he can fly. Now, let's continue. Now, my dear students, look at these pictures. Can you describe them? Okay, let's do it together. On the first picture, the first girl has got long hair. And the second girl has got short hair. Long and short are opposite adjectives. Look at the next picture. The ice is cold, but the fire is hot. Cold and hot are opposite adjectives. Long and short, hot and cold – это прилагательные с противоположным значением. Now, my dear students, let's do this task. Look at these adjectives. Let's find the opposite adjectives and match them. Now, let's check your answers. The first opposite adjectives – fast and slow, быстрый, медленный, dirty, clean, грязный, Чистый, expensive, cheap, дорогой, дешевый. Great job, well done. Let's continue. Now, my dear students, look at this picture and try to describe it. So, what do you think? In this case, you can say, This is my grandmother. She is old. 
This is my sister. She is young. Good job. Let's continue. Look at this picture and try to describe it. Okay, here you can say. This is a rabbit. It is fast. This is a tortoise. It is slow. Good job. And look at the last picture. What can you say here? Let's check. This is me. My jaw is empty. This is my friend. His jaw is full. Good job. Well done. So, my dear students, today we have done a lot. Today we have learned new words, used have got has got in sentences, and got information about living and non-living things. Today's lesson is over. Thank you for being active. See you next time. Goodbye.